Welcome in to episode 21 of Xenoverse, and for me it's been a, probably about a week since I've recorded, but you guys have just had consistent uploads, so like that's been really great. Uh, but this is the first time that I've recorded since my big recording session, and it also happens to be the first time I'm going to be going into my new job. So I'm a little bit like stressed out right now, so I just kind of want to like play some Xenoverse and like chill out and relax before I have to go in. <clears throat> it's important for me to do a team recap as well though because I don't remember what's going on completely so we've got Hermie the reindeer I remember that because it's like engraved in my memory <clears throat> echoed voice dazzling gleam play nice and attract I've got the Alolan muck um, with crunch poison fang toxic and screech I've got Fisher uh, the palo sand with giga drain astonish Bulldoze and Hypnosis. Snow Day, the Avalug with Avalanche, Crunch, Body Slam, and Curse. I got Tomato. I definitely don't remember what this thing's called. Scovile. Scope Scovile. With Incinerate, Scald, Leech Seed, and Flame Burst. Uh, and we have Tailspin, the Float Soul with Swift, Aqua Jet Pursuit, and Quick Attack. Okay, I remember now. <clears throat> So, in the last episode, um, the game died out right after the gym leader, so I had to play back through the gym, and I went ahead and, and took off the team members who died during that and threw on the new ones I knew I was going to have. So, they ended up evolving along the way, and ended up getting the badge successfully without any issues, and also I got um, the team for Scald, which I talked to Tomato. So, that that's how that went, and now we have like a pretty fully evolved team, except for Hermy, who evolves in like six levels. Um, also because I haven't recorded it in a hot second, I don't know if I remember where to go. I think that music is so loud, but like I love it so much. Uh, I'm assuming it's right here though, where, where these hippopotas are gathering. Or maybe it's over there, I don't know. Uh, but this looks like something. Okay, never mind. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I can just like leave now and a gale wind is blowing. I'm gonna get a new encounter right here, so Ooh. Okay, it looks like Palo Sand's the one to help me. Yeah. So we throw Palo Sand to get a new encounter and I make sure that I have Pokeballs. Oh boy. This game is like very slowly coming back to me. I've been like the last few days I've been playing Radical Red on stream just trying to beat that dumb game because I am such a completionist whenever it comes to games like that that like I can't help but just want to finish them like no matter how difficult they are like I started them so I want to finish it. Room bug. It it's a bug that's holding a tire. Okay. Sure. Why not? I meant to throw a quick ball at this because I noticed I had quick balls. And it's got speed boost. Okay. That's pretty fun. Let me see if I can throw a ball at it. I imagine I can. Just a room bug. Nice. One thing I'm gonna also have to get used to here is uh, I gotta get used to no speed up. Don't get speed up in this game. All right. Ooh, he's a sound type. Awesome. It has an excellent balance and drives around running on a tire. Once that is worn out, it looks for a new one. That's fun. I like that. Um, I am going to. I think I'm gonna name him the same thing of like the brand should I name the brand of car should I name the um, type of car um, I'm gonna name it the type of car I really want a Dodge Challenger it's like just a two-door like essentially muscle car but like regardless I I think it's great and I love it and I want it it's like that's like my dream car 
Um, I'm just checking, like... I think he's the only sound type that I've gotten other than my starter, who died very early on in the series. So I'd actually very much like to add him to the team. They don't have a bug type right now. I could probably tailspin. I think I'm gonna go and do that. Like I, it, it feels so rude to tailspin after like I just had to use him. But like, I don't know. It's a new Pokemon. It's a bug on a tire. It, it's kind of like how uh, dung beetles like just roll around on like poop, and not necessarily even their poop, but like they have good balance. But I think that's this is like the first Mon that I've like really wanted to add to the team that I've caught recently. Cause so I got like mascot and this bear thing that I don't remember the name of. But like they aren't that helpful for their typings because I already have those typings on the team. And actually both fire types anyways. I remember I was so confused about that mascot because um, it was wearing like a Charizard costume, which is very funny and I like that. Oh, wow, I could have got a not to and I would have hated that. <clears throat> Can I quickly look at this, uh, that challenger? Speed boost, uh, okay, defense down, special attack up, probably not the best for him. Ooh, he's got baton, ooh, what's rev up? I'm at rev up. Revs up ascension, uh, reset speed stat, okay, I mean, that's nothing too special. He's fine, you know, but top pass could prove to be very useful. So, how's everyone's day going? Mine's going pretty good. I'm recording this about 10.30 a.m. I have to go into work at, like, 3.30, um, because since I'm, like, starting new, they want to do short shifts with me um, to train me, which is, like, a little bit weird to me. But also, I'm fine with it, and it's not really going to matter to me that much. Because as long as I have time to, like, you know, do some YouTube and spend time with my animals, I'm pretty happy. So, hopefully I can just, like, bank recordings for, um, for right now. And I can feel like nice and safe. Oh, I totally just remembered that. All right, we're working on the next uh, achievement, which the achievements we still can't look at, which bumps me out so much, man. I want to look at the achievements. Come on. Oh, man. Controlling this game, I forgot how difficult it really is. I guess I could feel a lot less stressed about this game too, because I don't have to worry about not being able to switch out between mods. I think this is kind of like my relaxing game, and then whenever I go live stream Radical Red, it's kind of like my uh, I want to be stressed game, or at least that's how it feels like. Uh, kind of looks like there's something down there. Uh, speed up where you oh. That, uh, man, that's, um, it's weird because it has a mouth under its beak. That's what I find weird about that. So it's basically like two mouths. Okay, we just designed it that way. That's fine. I totally didn't just like spot hit an item spot and they just got robbed. Fine. Peck a bone. What does this sign say? Forward winding, torrid winding path of the sun. Okay, I'll go to the right. Okay, there's, looks like a Galvanian Onita, I think. Maybe not? This weird opinion to looks very frightened. Do you want to rescue it? Uh, of course I want to rescue it. What do you mean? Oh. 
Oh, it's XPC's Rapidash. Oh, they're like clouds. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, uh, I'm a little bit worried about throwing Hermie out here. So it's pretty clear things probably like a flying type, maybe like flying water. Um, naturally, Cloud Nine makes sense. Um, if it is water, and I've got water compaction, and I can go Giga Drain. Yeah, with having like Thunder Clouds too, that can change. I bet it. Ooh. Okay. I see you. I see you out here using Cotton Gar. Okay, there's the Air Slash. Let's find out if it's a water type, too. Ooh, no, it's pure flying. Okay. Or it could be like flying electric, which is also a possibility. Hmm. Okay, if you're pure flying, I think switching into Avalux is probably my play here. I could Leech Seed it, but I can't get Air Slashed, which is a problem. And he's probably going to wake up this next turn, so let's go Avalug. Ooh, okay, sweet. Much easier. Um, I can try to paralyze you, but I think going for damage is probably my play. Wow. You kind of beefy, Rapidash. Ooh, you got a... Ooh, baby, Hurricane just one-shotted me. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's probably why you have 44 special defense. Uh... I'm gonna go Muck, and I'm gonna think I'm gonna go for the Toxic here. Ooh, and you have Roost, okay. I mean, Toxic is just gonna completely negate the power of Roost. And now, I could, let me go Screech, let me go Screech. I, I mean, like, Muck's gonna take these the best out of anyone, so like, it makes sense. You just screech with him. Ooh, you missed your screech, buddy? Aw. Okay, I kind of forgot about that, too. Oh, that's that's why Avalanche didn't do that much. Use Cotton Guard. Yeah. Yeah, it just crit me. All right. I was thinking about that, I was like, man, if it crits me, this is gonna be a problem. Kinda didn't think it actually was going to crit me. Uh, I mean, I know you're a flying type, and I know you have to speed me, so Giga Drain's really my only choice here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This single Rapidash is about to just break through my entire team. Granted, I'm not making like the best plays in the world right now, but still. Uh, nope, we don't even have opposite genders. Uh, I have to hope Hermie can take a single air slash. Okay, you can. At the very least, now I can heal stall with Toxic, but like, I... I'm in a very rough patch right now. Uh, do I have any super potions? Those only heal 50. I would prefer having 60. Ah, Soda Pop. All right, that'll at least let me get an attack off now. Pretty much as long as you don't go for Hurricane. Well, I did not anticipate this being a thing where I am pretty much gonna have to replace the entire team. 
I guess regardless of me putting Challenger on, uh, I was going to get something, you know? Alright, so pretty much no matter what, uh, this thing dies this turn. Yeah, I just, I, that thing was hurting me way too much to try to capture it. Hmm, mimicking the target's ability. No, that's alright. picking on runty little babies now what is happening oh this guy what's the face noob you look like you've seen a ghost relax I'm not interested in challenging you not yet at least you rather must have some talent to meddle in team dimensions business every single time that rap dash you challenged earlier must be the ponyta's mother I'm assuming it attacked you because it thought you were hurting its baby uh Coincidence or not, these idiots playing bad guys are right here in the canyon, too. Looking for that same X Pokemon. <coughs> How can I be aware of their plans, you say? Let's say that my story and team dimensions are in ex in extricably. Whatever. They are entwined with one another. Although, I'd rather have nothing to do with it. In a way, you can say it, I am part of it. I already told you, I'm not here to challenge you. If you want to keep getting in the way, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Especially since, if they can't even handle a maggot like you, I wonder how they got to you, how they think to get by into the Xenoverse with such a straight face. Huh, huh, huh. What else? Something tell me. Something tells me I'm going to see your ugly snout around here a while longer. At least try not to chicken out with those clowns. Let's go, Sabolt. Alright, well, I'm extremely injured at this point. Uh... I guess I have a lucky egg. But, I don't know if that's really even going to matter. Just take items from everyone, I guess. I guess I'm probably putting um, Tailspin back on the team, too. Alright. Yikes, that is not the team to be left with right now. Um, like, Gengar is a play. Take Tailspin again. I think I'm just going to take the Numel. Got a Grass type, and I technically already have a Fire type, but like... The next best thing I think who would add a new typing is the Baneri, and I don't want to have to try to evolve the Baneri. It's so annoying. Oh boy. Uh, if I can honestly get everyone like evolved and everything, I think I'm fine, but I have to get everyone evolved. And honestly, my best Pokemon now is my Reindeer, and Reindeer is not that great. Makes me very worried to really continue. But at the same time, it's like, what else am I doing, you know? I 
could just stop and grind. But that's boring. I also very much hope that I get the, um, the Gengar evolution device soon. Oh. Well, maybe that's the first stage of the, um, the other thing I've been seeing. Here, I'll say, I have Lucky Egg. How much experience do I get from this thing? Literally nothing. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. That's rock. Okay, no outsiders allowed. Choice Scarf. Hey, I can see Choice Scarf coming in handy. I... I'm so injured right now in this game. I know... That... I think, I think there's a person walking around up there. I, I got a little confused there for a second. I was like, is there Pokemon walking around? Come on. Light ball? Does it still only boost Pikachu? Yes. Interesting choice. Oh, that's why that looks so weird. Because that guy's riding on a Rapidash. I honestly just need to get Reindeer involved here. And I really thought it was gonna be fine against that Rap Dash. You know, I actually bet it probably wouldn't have let me ca catch that. Now that I'm thinking about it, this doesn't really make a lot of sense to have like a whole story point about it and then let you catch it. Okay, I'm fine. Good. I was a little worried. I've got quite the levels on most of these teams. Okay, I am very scared of a Tauros, though. Uh, just go, Tomato, you got this. Maybe, probably, hopefully. As long as it doesn't have, like, I don't know, Bulldoze or something. Mm, go Leech Seed. At least we can take a little bit of health from it. And then if I can get Skull to burn it. Not stab, so I'm fine, right? I feel like I'm gonna have to like heal after like every single battle here, and that sucks. I think it's just situation I'm in though now. Coming back into like you know, trying to do recordings, and it just... It hurts. This guy's literally dressed like Woody. That's so funny, actually. You know, I actually also just remembered. Uh, you can... Fly. Or I can fly now, actually. At least find me to healing spots faster because it is so annoying <laughs> to run back I need my reindeer to evolve to rain dingo it's probably gonna happen in the next episode this episode is getting close <sighs> yeah, still waking up. <clears throat> still only like 10.30 or whatever. Almost 11. That's fine. Okay, so I just fought Woody. Boy, there's a lot of grass here. Aw. Wild Ponitas. Ponita. I assume I'm getting close to where Team Dimension is, too. Go Dazzling Gleam. 
Okay. Raising your special offense. That's annoying. But I can still outspeed right here and just win. Come on. Nope. Nope. Never, never. Never, never. My confusion luck very recently has just been complete garbage. Like, I, I cannot land my confusion hits for the life of me. It was three times in a row. This thing's plus three now. Uh, there you go. Way to snap out of confusion. Never doesn't really matter. Yeah, I wasn't even gonna feel bad if I lost Hermy there. Like, you hit yourself three times in confusion. Like, are you really that worth it? Maybe don't do that, and you'll be more worth it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess Lava Bloom is better than Flame Burst. Same deal, it looks like. Let's get some of that HP from this mill tank. Oh, sweet, there we go. Flame body for the win. Now I can see exactly how useful Incinerate is. I mean, not bad. I was gonna say, Miltank's attack did nothing. Is Miltank bad? No, it's Burn. Burn is bad. Hey guys, Burn is bad. New statement of the century. Ah, uh, yes, great. Nest ball. Exactly what I needed. I find it very strange to make scaly on fly you places instead of an actual flying type. Ugh. Boy. I might have to take a nap. I don't... Crap, which would have been a very fun mon. Take forever to evolve, but it would have been fun. Can I not switch out either? Yep, 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 yep. Makes sense. That seemed very worth my time. Do I still have repels? I don't remember where, 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 what repels look like, apparently. I found them. I have one. It's not the way you're supposed to go, you big dumb idiot. Okay, there's still more trainers. Uh, do I have cut yet? No, I still don't have cut. It was like way too long. Oh, he has a room bug under his arm. That, or he's sitting on a room bug. They're bigger than what I think they are. Okay, cool. I know this thing's typing at the very least. <sighs> okay, that's a little annoying, but I should be fine. Oh, right, 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 right. That, that's what Torment does. I was imagining Taunt. Yeah, I'd rather not deal with that, so I'm just gonna switch out. Amato! Incinerate. Incinerate. Does this sound so aggressive of a move? Uh, what? 
Which sand slash is it? Regular sand slash, who might have a poison type move actually. Okay. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I'm taking that. Yeah, I'm especially taking that when you only use two. Cool. Thanks, sand slash. You're a real peach. And also, thanks for not doing more damage than that. Julio, I'm really glad that pre pretty much the only thing that's happened this episode is uh, me dying. I mean, I guess that's better than Rev Up. Oh, Rev is an attacking move. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's actually a lot better. 60 power sound type move that also boosts your speed. That's actually really good. Um, I could see Autonomize being useful. But if I have Ref Up and Speed Boost, like, do I really need it? Maybe. And a broom bug. Uh, I forget how the effectiveness works. I'm pretty sure Vroombug is not super effective on Fairy, but I don't remember Fairy is super effective on it. Nope, it is not very effective. And also, I am low HP, so I should switch out. I guess Neon like isn't that far off level. Okay. So this thing is like 100% faster than me, but I'm pretty sure I can just incinerate it and that's it. Yeah, definitely I can just incinerate this. Nice. Goodbye, Vroombug. Alright. So this is going to be it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll take on Deem Team Dimension here in the Sun Canyon. Um, I'm going to run back and heal and probably just start right back here uh, tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.